Hi, this is Jen from Farm to Table, and I'm going to show you how to properly flour your surface and shape your sourdough bread. So instead of just placing a blob of flour onto your board, that will just increase the flour content in your bread, making it tough. You want to kind of throw it and just lightly dust the surface. Then here is our sourdough bread, and I'm going to release it from our bowl after its first proof and do a series of stretches to increase the gluten inside the bread. You want to pull it away from you and fold it in on itself in order for it to rise properly. And then we're going to just form it into a circle and cupping our hands, we're just going to roll it back and forth and do you see how the bread is kind of rising up and giving it some volume and some height? We want to continue to do that until it's all one big, tight and smooth piece of dough. And that looks good. This will rise one more time for about an hour in a warm location and then it'll be ready to score and put into the oven to bake. After our bread has risen for another hour, we want to dust it with a little bit of all-purpose flour and then using a lathe or a really sharp knife, we're gonna score it. That's gonna allow the steam to escape while it cooks. So I have a little bit, uh, a little sifter, just some all-purpose flour and I'm just gonna coat the top of the bread. This will give it a nice design when it's done cooking as well. And then using our lathe, I'm just gonna make two rather deep slashes in the top of the dough to let that steam escape. And then to trap the steam in while it's cooking, you're gonna put the lid back on, pop this in the oven for 25, 30 minutes, and it will have a beautiful golden crust on the outside. 